What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Breezy. Shoot my shot, kiss squeeze. Now look, Chiefs on Marquise Brown. This is the best receiver they've had since Tyreek Hill left. I don't think Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown, is a real number one receiver. But they don't need a real number one. Also, they needed a deep threat, which he is a deep threat. Maybe Mahomes can turn him into a real number one receiver. Um, they also got Rasheed Rice and stuff, too. So the Chiefs made a move signing um, an extreme. Rasheed Rice is development, and then Marquise Brown is the X receiver. Yeah, that offense is back. It's not. It's not like their offense is not. Defense. Their offense is not Tyree Kill prime twenty eighteen Chiefs level. But it's when they realize it's definitely they going to be a lot better with Tyree with Marquise. Kelsey. And while I don't believe they are done adding players to the receiver room just yet, this one if they get a many around Chiefs Kingdom happy, and I'll get into why that is in this video. Yeah. So let's talk about it. But first, he's not going to be Tyreek though. His straight line speed, he might be as fast as Tyreek. I doubt it. But he, just even if he is, like his agility, his change of direction, his route running just doesn't even compare to Tyreek Hill's. Signs of He's just a normal fast Tied guy by the Chiefs this offseason. So me. not a complete left field surprise here by any means with each and every high profile free agent receiver getting signed to other teams such as Gabe Davis, Darnell Mooney, Calvin Ridley and others that left Marquise Brown is one of the best available remaining and he makes complete sense for Kansas City. On top of that, he also recently followed Mahomes, Bobby Stroop and Justin Ross on Instagram and Mahomes followed him back. It's not earth-shattering news I'm sharing here, but it was another sign showing he was potentially getting signed to the Chiefs. Then we had this pretty Ricky 213 guy on Twitter. He blew up recently as he's exposed a bunch of free agency moves before they have happened. And he said, actually tagged me on Twitter, saying Hollywood Brown was going to be a Chief. And while I don't normally bother with accounts like this, it's a burner account and not an actual official NFL insider. Again, he's been correct on several free agency moves so far with the wildest one to me being the Calvin Ridley signing. He said at least one hour before the news actually broke that Calvin Ridley would be signing a deal worth Bro, 90 who is this guy? plus million dollars with a division rival of the Jags. And that is exactly what happened to the T. So we were all hoping for this announcement to take place and boom, Ricky was right once again. Ian Rappaport just reported this out 9 p.m. March 14th. He said, source, Arizona Cardinals, Wide receiver Hollywood Brown is signing with the Chiefs. Another high-octane target for Patrick Mahomes. Now get this. He said, one of the most talented wide receivers available. Brown lands in a perfect spot on a one-year deal worth up to $11 million with a chance to cash in next year. This is sort of like Juju Smith-Schuster coming off of a down year with the Steelers. Yeah, this is a injured, year. then played one year with the Chiefs and ended up cashing in with the Patriots. He had like a three-year, $30 million deal. But Brown finds himself in a similar situation. This is less money, guys, than I thought it was going to be. Somebody recently asked me, I think this morning, they said, hey, if Hollywood Brown was to sign with the Chiefs, what would you be comfortable with giving him? I said, well, MVS was going to be making $14 million this year, so probably somewhere around there with incentives drawing it up even a couple more million if you have to. Well, this is a one-year deal worth up to $11 million, so the base could be several million less with incentives bringing it up to a max of $11 million. This is an incredible deal for the Kansas City Chiefs, yeah, an incredible chance crazy. for Hollywood Brown to come into a team, a well-oiled machine, raise his stock up with a chance to cash in next year, and I am freaking stoked. Marquise is stoked, too, on his Instagram. After the announcement was made public, he said, blessed beyond measures, excited to be a part Shout of Shout out Marquise Brown. Anyway, um, like, like, comment, subscribe, see what you guys thought about this down below. My peace, stay breezy.